Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'm in my workshop. Uh, I'm working on some things I don't normally talk about on my Alternative City Comics channel, and that is these things that I make called CBOs. And I call them CBOs because they're uh, comic book originals. And what they are are these pins, these buttons, and magnets, and pocket mirrors. And here's one of the um, buttons that I make, and I sell them on my Etsy shop as well as at local galleries and, and such places. Now, the thing about the CBOs is that they are made from actual comic books. They're not reproduced, they're not printed uh, from a, as a photocopy. Each time a button is made or a magnet is made or whatever, an actual comic book page has to die to make that happen. Okay, so that I think makes them more special. Uh, I'm not the only person doing this, but I've branded my work as CBOs, and um, that's that's what I call them. So, so I'm going to be making some more CBOs. Uh, at least trying to make some more, since my, a lot of my um, Spider Gwen CBOs have sold out at the gallery. So I'm going to see if I can um, make some more today and uh, take some out there. So here we go. Now, first I want to show you where I get the the comics from. I keep my comics out here that I use for for making buttons and such separate from my PC okay let's see here Wonder Woman Wonder Woman's uh, a really good subject for buttons and magnets before this part of Gwen Wonder Woman was the biggest seller uh, this issue number 28 was like full of images. I got like probably, I don't know, 30 images per, per book from this from this issue. So I bought a lot of this, this issue. Uh, I tend to do that if I can find, uh, so I go to the dollar bins that shows to see if I can find a book that has a lot of great images in it. This one had a, a lot. So that's one of my, one of my favorites. Uh, Spawn 9. I probably got a spawn ten in here too. So I will. I try to like cut the draw the line at comics worth more than five or ten dollars. Uh, spawn nine and ten are probably at that at that range. Harley Quinn number one had a lot of Im good images in there too. I use that one for a lot. Justice League fourteen. This oh my, this has so many good images in there. I think maybe the famous Superman Wonder Woman kiss is in this one too. So. Yeah, that's another good issue. Free comic book day books are always good. Here's a, what I've already harvested images from. Uh, this was a really big uh, seller of buttons and stuff. Like when I first began doing it, back in maybe like 2015, this was super hot. The Teen Titans Go. Uh, I probably had like about 10 copies of this. I just love this cover. I don't know. It's probably worthless, but you know, that's just one of the coolest covers it's fun. Savage Dragons, awesome. More Wonder Woman goodness. Now, Squirrel Girl. Ah, I'm torn on Squirrel Girl because her books are going up now. And I don't know. Uh, I might make some Squirrel Girl items. I'm not sure, but we'll see. And this is a complete Squirrel Girl run here. So it's. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to even use these. But, Spider Gwen run. At one point, I bought an entire box of Spider Gwen. Uh, at the time, I was able to get them for like, I probably got uh, five at a time for like maybe 20 bucks. Uh, I had a few like, free comic book day issues so this is the entire stash of spider gwen books now i got two two second prints which i'm probably not gonna mess with because sometimes second prints are worth more than the first but you never know uh, and uh what one two three four number one first prints and four copies of Spider Gwen number zero. I think I got five of each. 
I got the second prints from somewhere else, but I got five of each of these. Uh, I got 10 books for like 35 bucks. This is like a few months ago before Miles Morales and Spider Gwen and everything else associated with them, Spider Verse, blew up. So <laughs> I'm at the point now where I really don't want to make any more out of these books because they're becoming too valuable. So these may be the very last Spider Gwen buttons and or pocket mirrors made today. So this is <laughs> this is a momentous moment. These are the two surviving uh, books that I got in that lot that I just showed you. Um, they've already been harvested for the covers and they made pocket mirrors on the cover. They make great pocket mirrors because uh, the cover images are like so nice. So I'm going to look through these right now and see if I can find anything else to use uh, for buttons. Okay, so those books I showed you were pretty much picked clean. There's no images left. That I pretty much got every button worthy image out of there already. So I found one that was kind of close uh, here in the back, in the, um, the back of the book. So just, just to show how the process is done, I'm gonna cut that one out. Use the hole puncher. Just worth this weight in gold because it's Without this thing, you'd be cutting every button pretty much uh, by hand, and that would suck. That's about right. In the shell. There's only one in the image. On the mylar. Alright. Which is in. Flip it around, put in the pin back. And there's a button. Here's a better shot of it. I was having trouble getting my camera to focus. So I've sold these for years at shows and conventions. And for the most part, people love them. Uh, sometimes people would give me a little flack about like, oh, you're using an unlicensed product and stuff like that. But, but what I'm doing is no different than what the comic dealers are doing. I mean, they're selling comics as a third party to other people. I'm selling comics to people, only my comics have been cut up into little pieces. As long as I don't reproduce the images from the comic books, I'm free to do with them as I choose. I bought the books fair and square. I can make them into collages. I can cut them up and make buttons and magnets or pocket mirrors. I could decoupage a table. I'm closing my Etsy shop on June 30th. I'm opening my own online store called PsychicUnicornShop.com. That should be up and running in another week or so. I've already bought the domain. I'm just uh, finishing up, put, uploading all the, the items to the, to the website. I'll leave a link below to Gallery Boom. That's where you can buy my CBOs and my stickers for right now. Eventually, they will be on my, my website, which is, again, PsychicUnicornsShop.com. Well, that's all for this video. Be sure to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you in my next video.
Hey, don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up.